Tonight, a major sex trafficking bust along the notorious Bissonette track in southwest Houston. And investigators were able to rescue several minors being sold for sex. FBI Houston just announcing this sting a few hours ago. Matt Doherty has been covering efforts to clean up the area for months. He joins us with the latest tonight. Matt? We were actually here on the track earlier this week when the operation was unfolding. We saw a lot of police and less sex trade activity than we'd seen in the past. Tonight, the feds are announcing a major interagency crackdown, arresting 10 gang members and associates selling kids for sex. The arrest part of a sweep that ran from the end of August until just last night. Girls as young as 9, 10, and 11 were being sold on that track. Um, even before they went in to really clean up Bissonette, Bissonette became so lucrative there, there's a, a mini track. Jacqueline Aludo's organization No Trafficking Zone works to help victims and educate agencies on the latest trends in the child sex trade. Since last spring, Houston police officers have been shutting down the side streets along the Bissonette track from sundown until sunrise. Both local officials as well as Bissonette business owners say the operation has been effective in reducing prostitution in the area. So Bissonette isn't the only track in, in Houston. There are quite a few. Bissonette was the most lucrative track in Houston and the most no notorious. The feds say during the operation, they were able to rescue nine minors and three adults who were being sex trafficked. Tonight, Aludo told us the crackdown is a step in the right direction, but says laws with harsher sentences need to be passed to make the cost too great for the traffickers. Until then, she says... It's not going to stop the business of human trafficking. They are going to go elsewhere. Our coverage of this story doesn't stop here tonight. Next week, we'll show you how law enforcement is trying to protect our kids from the sex trade. The term runaway has evolved over time. It's a story we've been working on for weeks. We'll share it with you right here next week on Tuesday night at 10. I'm on Bissonette, Matt Doherty, KSU 11 News.